My name's Kayla Shiflett, and I live in Anniston, Alabama. So I was 12 weeks pregnant, and my baby was fine. I had an okay pregnancy. And then I'd felt some pressure, and then it got worse and worse. And then um, one day it got so bad that I was throwing up. It was just so painful. I really thought that I needed to go to the hospital. I really thought that I was having a miscarriage, but I wasn't bleeding. When I got to the emergency room, it, the pain was so bad that I was laying on the floor. All right, here we go. My name is George Crawford. I am a board certified general surgeon and I've been practicing for 20 years. After talking to Kayla's OB, we decided to get her prepped for surgery. The biggest concern is she had appendicitis. Appendicitis can not only be dangerous to the mother, it can be dangerous to her unborn child. You can see on this ultrasound of the child that there's blood flow in the uterus, there's blood flow outside the uterus, so it looks like the baby is fine. What we are now thinking is that this is either the appendix or something going on with the ovary. It was really scary because my doctor said, we really got to do this quickly because if your appendix ruptures, it's your life and your baby's life. So in her situation, it was deemed an emergency. So instead of meeting her in the emergency room, she was asleep in the operating room. And five minutes later, we were getting her taken care of. Grasper, please. Yes, sir. Is this an ovarian problem or is this appendicitis? Appendicitis is the most common non-obstetrical surgery that we see in pregnant women. All right, let's get it done. There we go. So stuck my scopes in, start looking around, and it's obviously not her appendix. Her appendix is normal. It's kind of flopping right there. It's like, hey, waving at you. It's not me, it's somebody else. Oh, what is that? But off to the side, you see this huge mass. Something's going on, and we have to figure it out. Oh, wow. So this is a real bigger problem than I thought. Kayla comes in with right low quadrant abdominal pain. We take her to the operating room, expecting to find appendicitis, and we find something completely different. When we get in there, we find something stuck on her abdominal wall on that right side. There's really not supposed to be anything over there. We got to get it out. It looks like she's probably going to have what's called a teratoma. A teratoma is just one of these cells that has gotten stuck in the ovary, and over time, it's slowly grown with the patient. The reason she's having pain is because it's just twisted a little bit, and it didn't have a good blood supply. The appendix looks normal, so I know that's not the problem but kind of out of the side of my eye, I see the ovaries big and purple, and it's not supposed to be that color. So I know that that's the problem. This thing doesn't have natural blood supply, so that death of tissue is what causes pain, and then we end up having to take it out. The mass was so big that it twisted the ovary, and she was losing blood supply to it. So that's why she was having the pain, because she didn't have any blood supply to her ovary. And I know that it's something that we have to take out at this time, because if you wait, the ovary dies, she can get septic from that, and then the baby dies. So now I got to figure out how to take the teratoma out without injuring the baby. There we go. Brandon, make sure they get suction set up, please. As soon as I open it up, you can see a lot of the fluid starting to leak out. It's not toxic, it's not infected, so we're not worried about her getting sick from it. But what we will do is make sure we get as much as we can suctioned out. A teratoma is a tumor that can have anything in it. When we say anything, it can have bone, hair, skin, teeth. It can have functioning organs or part of functioning organs. We have to get all of the content from the teratoma suctioned out of her, because if we leave something in, then the mother can get sick, and then the baby gets threatened, and it's not a successful operation. Now, while I'm taking it out, I do make a hole in it, 
and you can see hair sticking out of it. So once you see the hair sticking out of the mass, you know it's a teratoma. So what we're trying to do now is just peel the teratoma away from her normal ovary. What this does is gives her the opportunity to have a successful pregnancy after this child. So hopefully we can get all this stuff out and it just makes it easier for her in the future. There we go, it's coming apart now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and suction out all of this fluid content, get all of this tissue in the bag, and hopefully I'll be able to get it out through one of these incisions. able to get it out through a pretty small incision. All right, let's see. Put it in here and some pickups. All right, guys, I think we're done here. It looks like uh, there's no bleeding. So it's kind of like a present when you find one because the first thing you want to do is open it up and see what's in it. So when I opened it up, I was like, oh, OK, th that's a tooth. And then there was another tooth. And then there was bone. And it was just kind of like, OK. So this is a real teratoma. This was kind of the one we read about in medical textbooks. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's also a little bit of hair in it. But this was pretty cool, because you don't see them too often with a tooth. And you can see it's firmly attached to this hair, where it's not coming off. That one actually has ridges, so it has roots and everything. So there's one good tooth, and there's some other that look like molar or something back here. One of them is actually stuck in the jaw. I didn't expect to find a teratoma. What I was thinking that we would find is an appendicitis. But in this case, I pulled teeth out of some lady's belly. So it was actually pretty cool. Teeth, ugh, gross. It was so gross. So like my first impression was that, okay, was that like a baby that didn't form right? Or like what happened? But Dr. Crawford actually explained it to me that like really just like one of my eggs just went haywire and formed this teratoma and just started making baby parts. Initially, when she came into the emergency room, she was worried that she was having a miscarriage. It works out that she wasn't, which is fantastic. And this child can go on to grow without any problems, and hopefully she'll have a healthy, safe delivery. I'm glad that we got this out of her, and it's not stuck in there anymore. She should be good.